Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be finishing off with our pause menu. So in the past two videos, we've been working with the functionality of the pause menu. However, today I just want to show you how you can style it to make a, make it look a little bit better. So over the past few videos, I've been showing you this test project and you can see it looks quite nice. I've got this little, you know, tinted overlay and I've also got these two buttons. And these two buttons have text and hover effects. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. So at the moment, we just have basic little blocks for our pause menu. So if I go ahead and open up my project, and if I launch it or even open up the pause menu, you can see that I've essentially just got these two blocks here and they have functionality. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and see what we can create. So the first thing we need to do is actually get the assets for the pause menu. Now I'm going to use the assets that I made. Um, you can use your own assets if you want, but the stuff that we're going to be using is two simple button uh, images and that's going to be complete with a hover effect and I'm also going to have a little pause shadow background. So I'm just going to go ahead and import all of these files into my um into my content browser. Also, I do advise that if you haven't seen the last two episodes that you go ahead and do so before continuing on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my content browser here and I'm just going to go ahead and drag these files in. So I'm going to import those just like that, it's as simple as dragging and dropping them. And then now we have our quit to menu and our resume button. Those are the, that's the functionality that we've, uh, you know, scripted in for now. Well, actually we've, we've set up functionality for quit game, but I'm going to put these buttons in anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start uh, the resume match button. We're going to go ahead and style that. So first things first, I'm going to go to normal. And I'm going to change the image for that. So I'm going to find the resume normal and I'm going to hook it up just like that. And I'm also going to make sure the margin is zero so it doesn't uh, push anything. And it, you can see it's a little bit, you know, stretched inwards, doesn't look too great. So what we need to do is we just need to stretch it out until it looks exactly how we wanted it to. So I'm going to make it nice and big for now, just like this. And I'm going to drag it in just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second button. This time it's going to be return to menu or quit to menu and we're just going to use the normal and we're going to change the image for that. Once again we need to get rid of the margin, set it to zero and then we're just going to use the same size that we used over here. So you can see I've got image size, uh, not image size, we've got the size up here. We just need to copy and paste that. So uh, click the resume match and uh, resume and then just copy it over. So 532 by 78. 532 by 78. And it should now all match up and it looks quite nice. So the next thing that we need to set up then is the hover effects for this. That's quite simple. We just need to change the uh, hover image. Or if you wanted to, you could simply just use the same image and change the color. However, with mine, I've got a little underline for when you're hovering over it. So what I'm going to do is resume hover. I'm going to chuck that in there. I'm going to make sure I've got the margin to zero again so it matches up perfectly. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this one. And I'm going to hook it up just like that. You can see there seems to be some issues with the image there, the little preview image. I forgot to do the margin. If I set back to zero, it should work just fine. So if I go ahead and launch now, making sure that I save all of this, we can see how nice it looks. Uh, we're also going to put the little overlay in in a second, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and test this first. So if I press escape, pause menu comes up and we've got our two buttons. You can't see them very well at the moment because, you know, we've still got the normal background. So we're just going to add in that little tint to you know, make it stand out a bit more, make it more clear, and it also gives kind of the effect that we're paused. So I'm just going to press the button to click there. You also saw that when I press it, it goes back to the normal block. We also need to change that in a second. So once again, open up the pause menu widget. And for the pressed one, I'm just going to quickly change this to quit to menu normal. So I'm going to find it in my co uh, content browser just so that it has a nice little click effect instead of going back to the box. So there we go. 
and then once again just change it to resume normal and I'm gonna pile that okay so the next thing that we need to do is add in the image for the background tint that's quite simple I've got the file already for that it's essentially just uh, a PNG image with an altered opacity so you can slightly see through it I'm just gonna go over to brush image and I'm gonna set that in but you can see at the moment that's actually going over the buttons that I've got so we need to change the Z order so what we need to do is we got to leave it to zero for this little background and we need to change it to one for the buttons so they're actually rendered last and they're rendered on top of the image so just go down to slot Z order and change it to one and now if we go ahead and drag this in just like this scale it up and we're going to anchor it to the whole screen just to make sure it adjusts to whatever screen resolution we're working on or whatever platform if we go ahead and press launch now it should look quite nice keep in mind if you wanted to you could also add in um, animations for your pause menu you know like a simple fade in and out to make it look all great but either way when i press escape our pause menu is actually looking quite slick we've got our two buttons when you click it goes back to resume match you know it looks great anyway that is pretty much everything for this tutorial thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye